It is Friday the 20th of November, morning Dezo. Do any homework last night? Mm -hmm. Who is this person? You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Good. And Friday morning, just finished breakfast. Still easy peasy, still well early though. Um, yeah, so Tracy and I have had pretty much 5.30 starts for some time now, which is a bit, you know, and we thought we were gonna have a lion this weekend. Definitely no lion tomorrow. I think we might have to get up to do one sandwich at like quarter to five, quarter to six. But hey ho, it is good to be busy. Hope you guys are all good. It is a bit overcast this morning, but nice and wintry. Got some work going on next week. We've got to have a couple of these trees taken out. So that'll make our garden look way different. Still nice and busy here, which is brilliant. Um, and it's a nice level of trade, you know. What we like is, or what any operator like us would like, is having people in for a long time. Otherwise, if you have just people in for one night, it's quite a lot of work. Have to make the beds or change all the bedding. But with, you know, if you're staying for like extended stays, you just do the bedding every four days. So it has been a bit lighter. I've been a really good boy with cracking on with the decorating. Not hating it either, which is good. So yeah, painted along here. Can't really see because the light's all pants and done this wall. So I'll probably do a bit more painting this weekend. Luke has been very productive. How mad was that last night, Days? Luke doing his bedroom. He's hoovering at half eleven. I know, who is this guy? And has dumped all the furniture out of his bedroom in the lounge, so we'll have to sort this out. Might go. Why he's done that? It's like not in our room, not my responsibility. Yeah, I know, like out of sight, out of mind. <clears throat> um, Tracy and I have got some rooms to do. We're still in all this madness, but you know, it's going to be over soon, trust me. Um, so, you know, a bit of rooms, bit of cleaning, bit of decorating. <laughs> Might even go to a garden centre. Fancy that, Daisy? Huh? Might even pop to the garden centre. Who knows? <laughs> Morning. Wait, on camera? <laughs> five past eleven. Yeah, five past eleven. We've just finished making this. Yeah. What are you going to do now? I'm going to do some editing. Yeah. Tea, just some editing. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to do, do a Peloton. Whoa. Yeah, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it is, what time is it? One o'clock. I've done my peloton, I've had a shower, got all my painting gear on. Gonna do a little bit of painting. I'm not hating this painting at all. I feel, you know, especially because it's in the lounge when I sit back and look at it, I am getting a sense of satisfaction and achievement, wife. That's <laughs> all you want in life, really, isn't it? It is, yeah. Has Luke gone to work? He's gone to work. Poor old Luke. Luke's had some proper old moody shifts. Um, yeah, sort of driving around late at night, delivering people's bits and pieces. He's had a cream incident where some cream exploded in the back of his van. Got so, on everything. <laughs> got on everything. So yeah, he's out driving and not back till about nine o'clock tonight. Late shift on Saturday as well. What about Sunday? Yeah, he's working Sunday, late shift as well. That is harsh. Hopefully next, his next ro roaster, roaster, <laughs> roster is a bit easier. Right, so today I've got a bit of um, sanding down to do on these areas here. And when you've got new plaster, you have to mix like half water. <laughs> Listen to me, I don't know what I'm doing. You have to mix like half water, half plaster, half, half water, half paint, and then, you know, stick it on the plaster. Apparently that helps the paint to stick. It is properly mucky out there at the moment. But you know, hey ho. So we're gonna have a spot of lunch. What are you having for lunch, Treso? I know what I'm having. I'm having an omelette with some free eggs. We had a man drop some eggs off. We did. Yeah, uh, because, not interesting Kifo, basic, he does eggs, dropped them off for free for us to try, and they look like good eggs. So we've got free eggs in our flash old new fridge. Look at this fridge, it's brilliant, love it. Right, so I got my eggs in. This is actually my second attempt, because I don't know where I am with the first one. Well, that's where I am with the first one. So got my eggs in, I'm going to grate some cheese in. Tracy's being all healthy with a salad. She didn't offer me any salad. Did you want some salad? No thanks. <laughs> I could eat one. I don't, I don't want one. Oh, there you go. miles away. Hello. Hello. So there we go, omelette's done. Got some Dr. Wells. This ketchup's pretty decent. Not as good as the barbecue sauce though, because the barbecue sauce is awesome. But I can only find that. I can only find that at Waitrose. So that's going to be Another trip to Waitrose today. Also, because I missed out on my haircut, I had to go side-parting Keith because it was 
<laughs> doing weird stuff. So I look like, I don't know, geography teacher. <laughs> but not like, not like a cool Indiana Jones one, like my one. It is 10 past three and I'm being stared out. Oh, now you're not staring at me, are you? It's like the Pets Ahoy thing. <laughs> right, so it is still dirty out there, not very nice. The pumpkin from last week oh, yeah. is still there Sorry. and not looking good. Daisy, you said you're going to make a pumpkin play. Not happened. <laughs> what? You're not going to make that? No. How's college? It's good. What's good, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? And we are going to have a new takeaway tonight. Yes. We are going to have. There's like a Greek takeaway opened up in town. Looks good. Um, so yeah, we're going to safety test it because there's a strong chance we might have this tonight and tomorrow night. You know, cheer up, Lukey boy. I have ordered. Did you see that delivery that came through, Treso? Yeah, what is it? More fitness equipment. Oh, it's very heavy. Yeah, I know. I think I may have, I may have overshot the runway. Thought, oh, that's not heavy enough. Well heavy. So, back in the Dizay, well, oh dear, Kiefer, I don't think we should be bringing back Dizay. Uh, a few years ago, I used to do a bit of CrossFit. Now, if you know anyone that does CrossFit, they talk a lot about CrossFit, but it is well good. Anyway, I haven't got a lot of time to work out. Luke and I have like overtaken this room now with like fitness equipment. So this is our current setup. God knows what Luke's been doing on this. You know, don't know what he's doing. Probably fell over it. So we've got some weights. These push-up boards are brilliant, you know, because you can do chest, back, and triceps. But for sort of functional fitness and like core strength, I have bought a sandbag. So it was a it was a bit of an impulse buy. I was sat waiting for Daisy and thought, I need to do, you know, my cardio is getting all right. So Daisy and I are doing a bit of running, a bit of Peloton. But I used to be quite, you know, mm, and now it's just like, ugh. Um, so in the shed, which is sort of there, under all those bushes, I've got a battle rope in there, you know, big old thing. And then I thought we could, Luke and I could do some workouts with the battle rope outside and a sandbag. So I've been looking at sandbag workout. So yeah, I may have overcooked that because I just picked it up. It's wet, not well heavy, but I think it's gonna, I'm gonna be gassing on that. Also, Luke's catching up with me on, on the old strength side of stuff, which is, you know, gonna happen. So I'm gonna unwrap that, see what it's like. So there we go, little sandbag. Pretty cute that, it is. It is quite heavy. I think that's gonna, I think actually I'm quite happy I got that weight. So I've looked on, on the YouTube, good old YouTube, isn't it? Like not just for old cheers ears and a bit of, you know, a bit of vlogging. So found some workouts on there. So I think tomorrow morning, me and the boy, Bit of bit of sandbag workout. Daisy has properly smashed her toe up, so we're not sure if we're going to be running tomorrow, which is a bit of a wound because it was, you know, getting. I was actually starting to look forward to my runs with Daisy, but we'll see if her toe's good. You know, we'll do it. Having some food. Mm. We're having. Pit bread. We're having Greek tonight, girl. Well, if you bought best nuts. <laughs> Where's mum? Oh hi, how are you? Yeah, thank you. How's the day? Good. I've done the first round of the edits. I need to go back and just do the tweaky bits. Yeah. I'm just doing a few bill payments and then going back to it. Nice. That's my day. Hey. Oh, what are they, hench? Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, so you can do deadlifts with it. How would you hold it? Though? Like you just did. So nice straight back. Oh. Like that. Yeah. What do you do with your knees? Huh? What do you do with your knees? That's a deadlift. No, but where do you put it? Well... It's quite wide. Yeah, uh, shall I show you the workout that I was thinking of show doing with it? Alright. Right, so, I was thinking this would be kind of a workout. So this is what I'm going to do with Luke. Yeah. Put it to there, and then you'd clean it... You'd clean it to there. Oh, and then you'd... Oh, and then, yeah. Then you press it to there. And you put it on the floor, and then you could do like a burpee, like that, and then Luke's go. 
Okay. Let's, let's see how many you can do. Let me have a go. I'm not sure if you can get it like up to. Oh, that's oh. Really hard. Yeah, but it's good for close. you. Yeah, you were. That was close. Yeah. I have to use like. Go on, get it, get it, Gil. <sighs> but hard. I know that is hard. But another workout you can do is just like where you lift it up and put it over your shoulder, and it. you can do squats with it. <sighs> See, like that. Strong boy. Squats. It's ten past eight, and it's me, Al Pacino. <laughs> All right. All right, you right. Yeah, what time is it? 10 past 8. No boy. No boy yet. I don't like this. Uh, he doesn't like it either, does he? The late shifts. <laughs> no, it sucks, but nice kebab. With nice kebab, yeah? Yep, I've been very busy. I've done all of that sort of wash bit on the walls, so I might do some more painting tomorrow. What do you think? I was yawning, sorry. Stop yawning. This is exciting stuff, isn't it? Oh, Kylo's yawning as well. Everyone's mugging me off. I'll jog on if I'm being boring in here. <laughs> anyway, we had a well nice kebab, super nice. And if you are not watching, this is us. What are you doing? It's the best program ever. We had the kebab, the ke kebab was brilliant. Need a wash up, haven't done that yet. And waiting for Lukey Boy. So, that's about it really. I think tomorrow a bit more painting. I think tonight we're gonna settle in with a bit more telly. Oh, I think we're gonna watch Mac and Sarah's latest vlog, aren't we? Yes. So we'll see you lovely lot tomorrow. Happy Saturday, you lovely lot. It is just gone nine o'clock. And we've had a bit of a lie-in. Well, sort of a two-stage lie-in. We got up, 20 to six, went down, did some packed breakfast, got them all squared away, put them out for the guests, left a note out, went back to bed. Well, nice. Have one of those weird sleepy bits, you know, like not quite asleep, not quite awake, but yeah, that was nice. So what's it like outside? I think it's going to be all right. <clears throat> Luke got home last night. We actually ended up having a really nice evening. He got back just before nine o'clock, so that was good. Ordered him a kebab, which was nice. We were going to try that new Greek takeaway place in the town, but it's kind of expensive. Not like properly expensive, but like 15 quid for a kebab, which, you know, with me being a bit squeaky with the funds, I couldn't really justify doing that two nights on the bounce. So we're having that tonight. So Luke's gonna give us his order before he goes to work. And then we're gonna try and coordinate it for when he gets home. So that's gonna be our big takeaway for this evening. Um, and yeah, all last night we watched Mac and Sarah's new video. Well, good, get on board with them. And yeah, I think today I'm gonna do some painting, but I'm not gonna let it take over the whole day. I need to nip to Waitrose, need to nip to the garden center. Gonna try their butchers out for our roast tomorrow. And we're gonna take you lovely lot along with us. It's quarter to 11, to 11. Luke's just gone to work. Oh, you're back from work, mate. Uh, Daisy uh, is sat down watching, well, multitasking. I see a laptop, I see a phone. Bye, Luke, have fun at work. And a bit of Toy Story. We're going out to Waitrose in a bit, aren't we? What are we gonna to learn to make today? Sushi. Sushi masters. Morning, wife. How are you? I'm good, thanks and you. Very well, nice lay in this morning. Yeah, it was nice, wasn't it? Going back to bed after making those sandwiches. I know, right? Properly. Did you get back to sleep properly? It took me a while, but I, I did have a sleep, I did get back to sleep, which was nice. I probably had about an hour, I think. It's very relaxing. It was. Yeah, yeah. just finishing off the editing? Just, yeah, just giving it a, a run through just to make sure I've not missed anything silly. Nice. Like, it's going better this week. I haven't had any issues <laughs> this week. Then I'm touching wood now, just in case I've tempted fate. Morning Kylo, he's been a bit pushy around here this morning with Star, isn't he? Chasing her around. Yeah. Angry young man. Right, I've got the pan on the go. I'm just gonna have some scrambled eggs quickly, bit more painting, then heading off to Waitrose. Yes, you can have it. You know my last chewing gum, because I am that guy. Right, earlier in the week, something weird happened. I heard a Christmas song on the radio and I went to turn it off because I was kind of thinking that was too early. And then the next day, what did we do in the car? We listen to Christmas songs. <laughs> What's the date today? 21st of November. So it's only a month away from Christmas, but it kind of felt a little bit too early. So what are we doing? Christmas songs or no Christmas songs? I think Christmas songs. I think 2020 has been an awkward, an awkward moment for everyone. So I'm I mean, in. I think we. I think it's okay. I think it's not 1st of September. No. And lots of you lot. You nutters have got your trees up already. That's too early. <laughs>
But I, I, I love Christmas, my favourite one. But if it's the 24th, like next weekend's going to be around the 30th. I think we can watch songs. Watch films. Songs of Praise. I love Songs of Praise. <laughs> we can watch films and listen to Christmas songs. Yeah. yeah. So what are we going to do? Christmas movie today? I really want to, yeah. Christmas is starting <laughs> now. Right, we are off to Waitrose because we are getting some sushi stuff. And I need to get some of that barbecue sauce. Probably get a few other nice little bits as well. And Christmas all the way. Yes. 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 Oh, I like a hamper. That's 200 pounds. It is 200 pounds, it's I nice though. I reckon we could recreate that for 75. Christmas Dave did that, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, we're loving the tree skirts. Yeah. We don't have a tree skirt. We do not have a tree skirt. Mm. What are you? <laughs> what is that? It's a stoat. It's a Christmas stoat. <laughs> <gasps> These are love. I love Waitrose. Should we get Timothy a friend? I'm, I don't know. I think I'm we'll, not be, vibing this much we'll be pushing his luck. Uh, luck. Oh, I think that lights up, Daisy. Really? Yeah. I can't break things. I think polar bears are Christmassy. Yeah. Monday. Yeah. And I like this tree. How lovely is that? Yeah, I like some of the decorations. Yeah, that is that is a mum tree. That is a mum tree. We've Who's decided we love this tree. I like the oh, I like the leaves. I'm not the biggest fan of blue on Christmas trees. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> on the hunt for sushi stuff. Got it. They got all the stuff. Seven would be enough. Yeah. Right. So rumor has it these are brilliant. What do you reckon? Two sticky toffee puddings. Oh. Do you know what though? What? Luke has said that the bread and butter pudding is good. Oh yeah. We'll get um, one of each. Right, said we'll... something else then. Have you sanitised your hands? Sanitise your you hands. So what have you got there? I have some pretzels. And I've got these, currently my favourite port scratchings. Bit mad in there. Oh, there was a Christmas mad lady, wasn't there? Screaming and shouting at now, people. That key, that's what we call a Karen. Oh. That's a Karen. Oh. Yeah. Not, yeah, like, she was, I think she was shouting about someone for wearing a mask. Yeah, so everyone's wearing masks. She wasn't, and she was shouting at everyone. <laughs> and she, and to look at her, she didn't look like a nutter. No. But clearly, a nutter. Yeah, better. But Waitrose, always nice as usual. Bought absolutely nothing, still cost 60 quid. I don't know how that happens. Mm -hmm. um, but we've got all the stuff for the sushi. Got a rolling mat to make your sushi with. Yeah. And it's nice and Christmassy. Very Christmassy. Got some near beers, got some nice bits and pieces. So we are going to head back to the ranch. Hopefully, my walls are dry. Give them another coat. Cheeky bit of Tesco's and settling in. Um, I think we're going to get some Christmas tunes on Spotify. We're ditching. What is it with DAB radio? If it was up. If it was up to me, I'd go back to old school radio, like my old one that I used to have in my Ford Escort, with a little graphic equaliser and my subwoofer under the passenger seat. That's what I want to go back to. Not this. It always cuts out. I'd rather do a bit of manual tuning and have a constant signal. So if you know anyone that's in charge of DAB radio, we've given it a good shot. It doesn't work. There we go. I went quite deep with that, didn't I? Very passionate. It's just annoying. So we are going to listen to some Christmas tunes on the Spotify. Right, so just getting the final coat of paint on. Had to go to B&M, get some paint. I hate B&M. That is, it's just hectic. And everyone in there is not good. Anyway, Daisy, what's going down here? Welcome sensei. Sushi station. <gasps> sushi sensei. Wow. I know. So. These are, I've just come in from painting and decorating, and look what has been made here. That was my first go, and I'm quite happy with it, actually. So we've got special rice. How is this different to normal rice? You have to, like, cook it. It's not too different, actually. You've no? You've got to be quite careful when you're cooking it. I think I overcooked it a bit, because it went quite sticky. So you've got your accoutrement on there, and you're rolling it up in your little mat. Oh, Daisy, this is well good. Thank you. Hopefully this one looks a bit better. <gasps> look at that! I know. It's magic. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm pretending like I do. Is it easy? It's pretty easy. It's quite therapeutic. Have you tried one yet? Yeah, I tried like the endy bits. What was it like? It looked nice. Tastes like sushi. Right, so that's the endy bit. Oh wow. Yeah, that's the endy bit. Right. Let me just chop it up. I think I need to put more rice in. I'm not really sure. Take me a bit of time to get into the swing of things. Oh, there we go. 
That is brilliant, well done. That's well cool. Right, it is coming up for seven o'clock. We are pre-ordering our dinner from this new restaurant. Looking well exciting. Tracy, yeah. I've just done that check-in. Yeah. He doesn't want any breakfast. So, oh yes. We have potentially got a lie-in tomorrow and after a, you know, a long run of up at five something, that would be well nice just to, you know, so we won't lay in bed all day. Turn, also, it turns out, I don't really like lions. <laughs> they sort of make me feel squinky throughout the day. You know, you just feel like, oh, I should have been up earlier. So that's the result. Haven't heard from the boy yet, but hopefully his date is going good. So we're gonna order up from this new restaurant. So yeah, that'd be well good. It's all Greek, it's all sort of kebabby, mixed grilly, salady. Yeah, the menu's really good, so that's exciting. I really, really hope it's good. So we're gonna do a cheeky, this is us order the food, settle in for a bit. So we might have got the timing spot on, the food from the new place has arrived. Daisy is chomping at the bit to unwrap it. No, it's chomping at the bit. No? It's chomping yeah. at the bit, yeah. You can no. chomp it, you can chomp it, you can chomp it, you can chomp it, you can chomp it, but it yeah, is it's chomping. chomping. No, it's not. No, it actually isn't. I think you'll find it's chomping. <laughs> chomp, 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 yum, 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 <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, so this is it. This is from the new Greek place. Don't open it. <laughs> the new grid place. I don't know why you're filming this. <laughs> it. It's just like boxes. But so here's hey. some boxes. Luke's on his way. We've had a text. So don't chew. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's exciting. Because if it's good, it's like a big deal for us. We've lived in this town for ten and a half years. We and it's kebabs and curries and the occasional Domino's and Chinese. Chinese yeah. So if this is good, this would be great. Does that come and with it? huh? Does that come with it? Yeah. Sachet of mayo. Yeah, one sachet of mayo. I think yeah, there's like three portions of chips in there. And um, how cool is it that they've opened up in these weird times? Just a brand new restaurant. I think it's, it's a. Take, it's a take. Is it takeaway or is it sit down? Sit down. Oh. So when I ordered it, they. I ordered it at seven, so I wanted it for half eight. So, but before they knew that, they said, "Oh, we can't get anything to you till eight thirty. I went. That suits me fine. <laughs> They're obviously busy with the novelty value of being new, but and opening something that can deliver at this time is gonna you're gonna earn money, aren't you? They don't deliver. You do deliver. Hey. <laughs> Right, so it's all here. Hello, Luke. I forgot it was the weekend. That's <laughs> coming out. So this is the big boys' meaty feast. Meaty oh, boys. Oh, Daisy's got a lamb shank. That looks well good. Mm. What have you What's got, that? Trace? I've got chicken in a flatbread with sauce. Yummy. Oh, it smells amazing. Right, we're gonna get stuck in. So thoughts by feels looks well yeah. good. Yeah, so it's like chicken wrapped in it's a combination of like a um pita and a naan, I would say. A panan? A panan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. Nice, very meaty, smells incredible. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy oh, it with the band. <laughs> right, we are big fans of Charles, Charlie Charles Bingham here at Cheers Is HQ. We love his ready meals. But we are trying his bread and butter pudding because Luke has said that the feedback on Charlie Bingham's puddings Bring me my pud. <laughs> Bring me pud. Bring me pud. <laughs> now Daisy, you like a bit of pud, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> and you? And you make a good pud. What's it like? How much was that? Your I think it's about five pounds something. Could you end up with a problem with this stuff? Yeah. Really good? Yeah. Like out of it's ten? Like a hug. Is it? Yeah. Oh, do you reckon it'd be nice with Baileys on it? Baileys? Yeah, not babies, you <laughs> weirdo. <laughs> uh, babies on it. <laughs> right, before you try it, that's going to be hot. No, it's, it's not. It's not, hot. it's not, it's not too hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Really? Oh yeah. I didn't even make a work. No. <laughs> Not even tasty. Because no. oh, yeah. you've heard from like oh. other people that these are where it's at. Uh, I need to get a bigger bite. Mm. <laughs> it's quite nice. Really? Yeah. It's out of ten. Well, out of ten. But like, hang on, it's more complicated than that. Like, is it, is yeah. it out of ten for a dessert? Yeah, as a pudding. Oh, nine. Really? Really good. Really good. Oh, thumbs up. They do a cherry baked well thing as well. Mm -hmm. a hint of cinnamon, which is really nice. Nice. And they do like a sticky toffee 
Could, yeah. An agenda cake. Oh. Right, it is coming up for quarter past ten. Just done the final lock up of the house. Cheeky line in the morning. That is well nice. Food was fantastic. Like, really lovely dinner. The gang reckon that pudding was top drawer as well. So, yeah, early night tonight. Bit of telly in bed before we doze off. So, we'll see you in the morning. Happy Sunday, everybody. It is five to nine. Had a well nice line in. Sorry about the hair. Just had a shower. Waking my face up. Come on, Kifo, wake up. Just about to get the first wash on of the day. Get some drying underway. Um, I was going to go to the garden centre today, but I'm feeling a bit of a picky dinner tonight, so probably <clears throat> may or may not venture over there, but I do need to pop into town right now because I've got no blueberries for breakfast, so I'm going to wander into town, <clears throat> excuse me, get them, going to get one more coat of paint on, on the lounge, and then that's done, hopefully get a peloton done, hopefully get the house straight, and we'll see how we get on today, so we're going to take you lot along with us. Right, all back from the shops. I was, apart from me and one lovely older gentleman and his mobility scooter, we were the only ones in the town. So all I could hear was his reversing beeps on his scooter and the crows around the church. It was well weird, like 28 days later. Not hating it though. Had a nice chat with a lady in the shop and got some stuff from the co-op. It is well handy living in a town. And um, so we have got... Got my blueberries, got some croissants for the rest of the team, got some pork scratchings. I don't think I've tried these. I'm gonna give those a go later, and some Nutella. I'm gonna have a bit of breakfast now, catch up on a bit of Mr. David and Mr. Ian, I think, have a bit of breakfast, and then a bit of painting. It is 10.51, morning children. Morning. Um, and we're gonna shade. shade. Oh, so. <laughs> Over the noisy bug. <laughs> <laughs> Over the last couple of weeks, probably the last three or four weeks. Christmas time. <laughs> so say your prayer. <laughs> I've actually, I've accidentally caught. Pray for the young ones at Christmas time. I've just caught you in a back shot in your pants, Luke. This is going in this week's no, video. No, I thought I wasn't tensing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, over the last few weeks, I've been really good on my supplements. I go through phases on this, but I've noticed a massive difference. Normally, I'm just having a conversation with Brave. You have a conversation with it, Brave. Yeah, right. Normally, when it gets to about um, four or five o'clock in the afternoon, ah, oh, that lovely lot on the telly. Whee! Looking forward to their vlog tonight. Um, oi, oi. Anyway, so. I start crashing hard at about four o'clock in the afternoon. So um, I have a medical every year and they test my blood, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I've started taking my pills again. So I've taken loads and loads of supplements and I have noticed a massive, like I wasn't expecting this, a massive surge in energy throughout the day. So I don't know if it's a combination of stuff I'm taking. I've got no idea, you know, as you know what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> but I'm gonna show you what I'm taking. But we're staying up later. Well, I'm staying up later. So normally I'm dozing on the sofa at like nine o'clock. I start getting really tired about four o'clock. Then I start dozing half eight, nine o'clock. But I have to say I wake business. But now 10.30, 11 o'clock, I'm kind of awake, which is, you know, massive. So this is what I'm taking. I am taking this. <laughs> And you take that, you take that in a drink. I am taking this, I've been taking this for a long time. This is good for your joints. I'm taking bitter melon, don't know what that does, but you know, it seems to be working. I'm taking turmeric, or turmeric. I'm not putting you in, Luke, because you're in your <laughs> pants. Uh, vitamin D, I'm taking some zinc. I'm taking this, because it's kind of working. <laughs> I'm taking magnesium, I'm taking this. You're only supposed to have one spoonful of this <laughs> because um that's what it says but it's so delicious <laughs> make sure you don't take any more i can't put the children are dancing around me and luke is in the lariest pair of boxer shorts you've ever seen and that's it and he's got croissant crumps all over his face <laughs> right it's coming up for one o'clock i'm about two thirds of the way of the painting that i'm gonna do today i can't believe star is comfortable here look so 
Luke's just getting ready for work. Daisy's doing some coursework on the sofa. I'm having a spot of lunch. Couple of eggs, bit of ham, bit of sauce. Right, it is coming up for focus. Quarter to four. Just been to Tesco's. I've had a well old busy day. I think what I've done, probably bit off too, a bit off more than, no, I didn't buy it off more than I can chew, but I've spent more time decorating today than I would have liked, but I wanted it done. And I'm pretty sure what I wanted done is done. So look, all white. Da, da, da. So I've done all of this side really, but I definitely prefer doing it in little chunks. So I'm now, just got back, I've been, so I've done this, gone to Tesco's, Tesco's is well good, use my big boy voucher. Um, if you do that Tesco, uh, Tesco's club card thing where you upgrade your club card, you get more points, you get two 10% vouchers a month, you get more minutes and data and stuff on your phone, so all our phones are with Tesco's. And so anyway, I managed to get a big discount off my shop, got about 15 quid off, which is well good. Just started to clean the bathroom, bit of a mess in there, but halfway through that, just unpacked the shopping, and I think I've probably got 20 more minutes work before I have a shower and sit down and watch something. So, you know, we're having picky bits for tonight, so Trace is gonna do some prawn cocktail. We got some nice wines. I got these because it was six bottles and you get 25% off. So as you know, Tracy likes some wines. So I thought I'd get some extra stock us up, keep us going, get a bit more usage out of my discount. So yeah, so we're gonna have a bit of a picky bits for tonight. Luke has just texted, he is gonna be back at about, all right wife, have you been on here today? I haven't done It's your that. Sunday debut, what, what? You're very glamorous. Thank you. You know why he looks so glamorous? Why? You've not been cleaning bathrooms or decorating. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> Look at the state of me. And I went to Tesco's like this, so this is me. Ooh. You know how some vloggers, like before they go out on the parks, so you're all wondering what I'm wearing. Well, I'm wearing, <laughs> I'm wearing this t-shirt. Stronger people are harder to kill and better looking. I'm wearing some shorts and I'm wearing some dodgy old shoes and I don't care. <laughs> Paint all over me. But today's look is the decorating piece. So this is decorating chic. Um, so yeah, Luke's just text. He's gonna be home about nine o'clock. Right, get this right. You know how we bang on about how much we love our kids. Our kids are brilliant, as are yours. And as I keep going on about this, if you are watching these, these kids, your parents think, think you're brilliant. Right, so Luke was, got home last night and we had, you know, the nice takeaway. I'm like, you did well on time. He said, yeah, I did do well on time. And I was held up, and no, and I spent um, 25 minutes at a drop. I'm like, oh, what, what have you broken? Because he's had a few incidents where he's, it was his last drop. And I said, what do you mean? He said, I had like the nicest chat with this lady. Anyway, so basically Luke did his last drop at what, like half past eight last night? Oh. And then he spent 25 minutes speaking to a lady, learned all about her, she's 86, she's an ex-school teacher, and Luke was just like, she's all over it, you know, she gave up teaching. And then she, um, they wanted her to retire, but she didn't want to retire. Now she teaches disadvantaged children. And it, Luke just came back and like, we're a bunch of old hippies, and he was like, there's just something about her, like, not going, anyway, how nice is that? You know, finished a shift and somebody needs a bit of a chat and you and do she it. she sports psychology, so she was talking to him about his racing as well. So that obviously, if you want to get on Luke's good side, talk to him about his racing. Yeah, so he came home, not like, oh, I had to 20 minutes chat to someone that wasn't boring. He came through the door and was like, oh, I just had the nicest chat with the nicest lady. So what goes around? comes around if you put out good energy into this world it will come back we are all monitored by the karma police so do good stuff it make you feel better right in here anyway gonna finish the bathroom gonna have a shower might have a cheeky near beer got a couple of near beers in the fridge and oh blimey you lot really went for timothy didn't you so as i discussed in last well whenever i announced it it was the first person to comment well, they saw Timothy, and the person that commented first with the time was RD. I don't know what your real name is, but I'm gonna find out because um, you're gonna have to, I will email you, um, no, yeah, I will. I'll contact you direct and then send us your email, send us your address, but for all of you others, well done. I'd love to be able to send you all a box of sweets, but you know, 
Times are hard, we're in a recession. Not in a recession, in a... We might be in a recession, we don't know. No, we're not. No. Just keep... Keep it on. Right, the reason, the reason recessions happen is because everyone... Actually, I'm not an economist, so I don't know why recessions <laughs> happen, but if we all carry on as normal, you know, if you still buy your coffee from the coffee shop, if you still, you know, have your takeaway once a week, if we all keep doing what we normally do, it'll all be fine. Can. Yeah. Under government restrictions and guidelines. Obviously. No, I didn't mean that. You're missing the point. I mean, like if you if you carry on, like don't go all. Like if everyone, if everyone suddenly went all. Another lockdown. There's probably going to be another recession. Recession. Tighten our belts. There's less money going around. But if we all just carry on as normal, there's the same amount of money going around. Let's just keep it going around, people. Keep it going around. It's all going to be fine. I'm 100%. This is all going to be fine. And it's going to be Christmas soon. Oh, next week I'm on a right old red. Next week, Christmas trees going up. We were going to go for two Christmas trees because this is where it's going to go this time. But this weirdly high ceilings in here. This um, area here, you, this used to be a nightclub. So this is where, you know, what, what? Anyway, back to my bathroom. Stop ranting on Keith. That was a long bit. Oh, I can see on my timer. Six minutes. Still not move that pumpkin. You're just waiting for it to disintegrate and disappear and then you don't have to do anything. Yeah. I think it might take a while. I've got time. You should probably put the barbecue away as well. That little... I'm not finished. This is, we're still in barbecue season. <laughs> right, it is ten past eight. Luke's still not back, but we are plating up. This looks nice, Trace. It does, doesn't it? Mm, this is where... Picky bits. Yeah, picky bits. Got some cheese. Got some meat. Got some tomato and mozzarella. Oh, it is just before 11 o'clock. I've eaten way too much cheese. We have had a lovely day. Luke had a great day. Well, not a great day, but you know, he's back safe and sound. And we had some nice food and we have just watched. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. It's lovely having that back on the telly. And that's it. Thanks so much for joining us this weekend. I know it was a bit, you know, decorate a bit, you know, but one day we will be through this one day soon and we'll get out and do a bit more exciting stuff. But we really, really do appreciate having you guys along with us. We appreciate all the lovely comments. So yeah, it's, we, you know, it is what it is. So stay safe, look after one another. And that's it from us. Cheers is. Cheers.